Yeah, so we are standing at the very beginning on the north side of the new bridge. It's going to go in, and over my shoulder you can see, uh, you can now see the railroad tracks. And it's kind of eye-opening when you think about how high up those railroad, railroad tracks are. And we're going to have a bridge that's going to be at least, I think, 25 feet of the clearance over top of those railroad tracks. So you can see we've got a big bridge that we're getting ready to construct. Uh, we've just run the first couple of test piles that are out there. We're doing that so we can verify bearing capacity to make sure the design of the bridge is to come along. But we've got several hundred piles that are going to have to go into the ground to hold this bridge up and uh, you can see it's a major structure we have out there. The line and grade which is what we call the the, the baseline for the roadway from uh, 90 all the way down to the beginning of the bridge has been set. We've excavated a pond over there. We're making tremendous progress as we move along now. The bridge alone is going to take about a year and a half, two years to build. That's why you do it first. You want to start that all in case there are any delays. You, you have buffer in the overall project. Uh, when you think about this we've got about seven miles of roadway that we're constructing overall and our first action is to get the bridge in because we realize that's the, kind of the key component to the whole process. So a uh, year and a half, two years to build this bridge uh, so that it can be operable going across the, the railroad track. Fortunately, we can get access to both sides, which is what we'll do, but they actually got to build a work bridge in order to build the real bridge and so it takes time. Tell you, it's it's quite the sight when you come over the hill and you can see the railroad tracks and you know this bridge is, is about to be uh, created. It's um, it's 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 a humbling feeling to be a part of that process.